KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Since the pandemic started, the Port Authority of Guam remained open. Despite 33 port employees being infected, they continue with operations. Port Authority General Manager Rory Respicio. Here at the port, we are 100% operational. Um, and it's really because not only do our port employees recognize the value that they have to the community, the role that they play here at the port to keeping 90% of the goods that come in to the port are still coming in. Even with various precautionary measures in place, there have been multiple infections and sadly, a death. We lost a co-worker, uh, Brother Henry St. Nicholas, uh, who we will forever pay tribute to as a frontline uh, uh, hero and a COVID warrior. And, and so when, when, when Henry passed away, uh, we actually did a memorial service here at the port. His family was here. The governor, lieutenant governor, our board was here um, to really express appreciation to um, a fallen uh, member here at the port, right, a, a fallen family member. To help ease the burden of public health's contact tracing team, port employees decided to form a team of their own. So what we did is um, we had six employees, myself included, uh, go through the CDC website to get certified to be contact tracers. We identify the close contacts. We, we give that number to public health. They've been uh, great to schedule testing uh, after the incubation period. Like after five days, they get tested, and then we get the results right away. But the difference here between us and other parts of the island and other parts of government operations is that because the important employees are, are following, we're following the CDC guidelines for critical infrastructure worker, when they, get, uh, when they get identified as a close contact, for as long as they're not sick and for as long as they're not positive, they still have to come to work. The port workers continue to hold the line to keep the island fed and secured. They are the unsung heroes who keep the supply chain in check and keep goods moving around. It's our hope and it's our strong belief that when you look at a port employee today, that you're going to equate them to the same way you look at a healthcare provider, the same way you look at a doctor or a nurse. Daniel Perez, reporting for Guam's News Network.